It's time to feel old. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be opening up our time capsule to tell you what happened this week in history, December 9th to the 15th. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're scouring our memory banks and the history books to find five interesting stories that'll make you say, oh, yeah, that happened. Be sure to keep an eye on our community tab to vote for your favorite moments on upcoming episodes. Five years ago, Brian Griffin lives again, December 15th, 2013. Even if you weren't watching Family Guy anymore in season 12, the death of the Griffin family dog likely reinvigorated your interest, if only for a brief time. Yes, Chris. I'm afraid... I'm afraid that our Brian is dead. Fans were shocked five years ago when Brian died in a car accident and wasn't resurrected by the episode's conclusion, instead being replaced with a new dog voiced by Polly Walnuts. Hey, everybody, we got a funny sandwich here. Over the next couple of weeks, people couldn't go on social media without reading about Brian's sudden departure, inspiring multiple petitions demanding the character's return. Of course, as we all know now, Brian came back alive and well two episodes later. For a moment in 2013, though, it appeared Doggy had gone the way of Old Yeller. Come on, he'll call back. Nine years ago, Angry Birds crashes into the App Store, December 11th, 2009. You know you're getting old when a smartphone game is starting to look nostalgic. If you gave someone a red bird, a green pig, and a giant slingshot prior to 2009, not even MacGyver would know how to put them all together. Yako Isalo of Rovio Entertainment stumbled upon an unlikely gold mine with Angry Birds, however, which was inspired by Crush the Castle and the recent swine flu outbreak. Winning iOS and MIMO users over with its simple yet inventive gameplay, this casual puzzle game evolved into a billion-dollar franchise, inspiring numerous follow-ups, a tidal wave of merchandise, and a feature film that's getting a sequel in time for the first game's 10th anniversary. You, what's your name? Pal? I've seen you do something strange before, right? Uh, let's see, I'm really Doesn't good matter. Launch at the oh. oh, this guy looks good. 10 years ago, Single Ladies Put a Ring on It hits number one. December 13th, 2008. If we showed you a photo of Beyonce in 2008 versus a photo of her now, chances are you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Queen Bee looks as if she hasn't aged a day, and the same can be said about her hit song, Single Ladies, which is astonishingly more than a decade old. Released on October 13th, 2008, Single Ladies reached the top of the Billboard Hot 100 chart exactly two months later. It had remained number one for four non-consecutive weeks, going on to win three Grammy Awards and the VMA for Video of the Year. The video's black and white cinematography and dance choreography only contributed to its enduring legacy. Um, I haven't met the other dancers. Are we gonna have time to rehearse? Oh, look, don't worry about the other dancers, B-Town. I handpicked them myself. These guys are pros. These guys? Uh -huh. 22 years ago, consumers stampede through the aisles for Tickle Me Elmo, December 14th, 1996. But beware, like any hot commodity, the price is soaring. Elmo will forever be three and a half, but his insanely popular plush toy is over two decades old. While 90s kids have nothing but fond memories of Tickle Me Elmo, the same cannot be said about their parents. All they remember is going to extreme lengths to get one of these giggling dolls in time for Christmas. Elmo Mania reached its boiling point on December 14, 1996, when a crowd of 300 stormed a Walmart where 48 dolls were on sale, trampling over clerk Robert Waller in the process. Really? In addition to a concussion, Waller's back, hamstring, jaw, knee, and rib were damaged. People were seeing red in more ways than one that fateful night 22 years ago. He is cute, he's cuddly, he likes to sing and laugh, but a Bay Area mother says the Elmo doll that she bought for her two-year-old son is now making death threats, and she's not laughing. Nine years ago, the search for an American Ninja Warrior begins, December 12, 2009. When you say the title out loud, American Ninja Warrior almost sounds like a satire of a reality competition show. This sports competition series is all too real, however, and is still going strong after nine years. His friends call him Bones, but he's gonna need muscle if he hopes to survive this course. A U.S. version of Japan's Sasuke and a successor to American Ninja Challenge, the series started its run on the now-defunct G4 in 2009. 
Season 1 aired from December 12th to the 19th, with Last Ninja Standing Levi Muenberg unable to conquer Stage 3. An American wouldn't make it past Stage 4 until 2015, when Isaac Caldiero and Jeff Britton both achieved total victory. It's not about stronger and younger and faster, you know, it's about maturity. Hopefully it doesn't take another six years for another competitor to finish the course. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.